I know that I've made it very clear on this channel that my favorite band is XTC, but for a while, another favorite band of mine was the Talking Heads. They recently showed up on Stephen Colbert. I don't watch regular TV, but it came up in my YouTube feed because it knows that I look at a lot of Talking Heads videos, XTC videos. I'm watching this interview, and they mentioned a few bands in the beginning that they toured with. Some of those names are escaping me, but towards the end of the video, Tina Weymouth, mentions XTC right after mentioning Dire Straits. I just thought that was so awesome because I'm watching this interview and the whole time I'm thinking to myself, I really, really hope that they mention XTC because to me, XTC and the Talking Heads, there was a time where they were really tied for being my favorite bands or my favorite band. There's this book, Chalk Hills and Children. Right after page 60, there's like several different photos in that book, in this book. And one of those photos that really sticks out is this one right here, which is uh, the Talking Heads and, of course, XTC. There was a time where I wanted to actually blow this picture up somehow without making it look really bad and putting it on my wall because that's how much of a fan I was of those two bands at the time. So when I was reading this book and I saw this picture of XTC hanging out with the Talking Heads in 1978, I just lost it. I was like, what? That's crazy. It's like when I found out that Gary Newman and Prince admired each other as far as like, I mean, they had a lot of respect for each other musically. Hearing that some of Gary Newman's music influenced Prince on songs like Computer Blue. He was influenced by Me, I Disconnect From You from Gary Newman, which is really cool because you can totally hear that. Gary Newman went and covered You Got The Look. It was just cool to find things out like that because I'm, I was such, I'm still to this day a huge fan of Prince and of Gary Newman. Anyway, I'm rambling to stick to the point behind this video. The Talking Heads, I reconnected with their music and I started with more songs about buildings and food. I picked up there and then I went and collected the rest of their albums. Of course, I, I already was pretty familiar with speaking in tongues, but I never really took a deep dive into their music until then. So once I really got into their music and started studying more of the bands that were coming up around them and seeing the slight similarities between XTC, at one time Colin Moulding had even said that some people referred to XTC as a poor man's talking heads. I just totally don't agree with that at all. That couldn't be more false. I think those bands were both unique in their own ways and I think that it's great that they knew each other and that they had each other so early in their careers. I'm just going to say this. Thank you, Tina Weymouth. Thank you so much for mentioning XTC. I'm speaking on their behalf because I'm sure they appreciate you mentioning them. They were definitely relevant. It's just good to hear someone mention something like that. You know, even though the crowd didn't respond to them saying XTC, it still planted a seed in the heads of everyone who was watching this video or in that audience. They're like, who's XTC? Because a lot more people know who Dire Straits is rather than XTC. And to me, XTC is a little bit more important than Dire Straits. Nothing against Dire Straits. I think Dire Straits is awesome. But... XTC, if I had to choose, you already know that. Anyway, I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, I've just been slammed with everything that's going on in my life. You guys know it, you get it, you all have lives too. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I will have another one out to you soon, thanks.